Well, I'm so excited. As some of you might know, I have been working in putting together a, a workshop that puts together two different things that I really, really enjoy doing, which is obviously making handmade journals and books and working with encaustic. And many of you may not think that goes together, but I've made several journals with the covers um, being embellished with encaustic and I really think it's my favorite ones that I've ever made and they seem to be popular and they sell very quickly and so some people have asked me well how do you do it how do you do it so I thought well maybe it's time for me to put together a workshop on how I do my encaustic covers now this is not what I would call a um, journal making course. It's more specifically on making these panels that are encaustic that will be applied to journals that you make. Having said that, I do end up at the end making a journal from beginning to end <laughs> because, you know, it just kind of evolved that way. But primarily, this is a workshop showing how you can apply different techniques of working with the encaustic medium and incorporate them into your book and journal making. Um, we're going to be learning a lot of different ways to use it to um, really make these journals one of a kind. For instance, this is an image transfer that I have done on this encaustic panel and I really like you know how that came out there's also here some engraving and some different uh, works that I incorporated on that but primarily this one is an image transfer this one which is quite bright <laughs> this one also has some engraving and stamping in here but the design was transferred just um, by using a pencil transfer and we will go step by step how to do that also this cover we also make in the course and this shows you uh, from beginning to end the basics of how to make this starting from the collage work all the way through and putting the encaustic the carving, the um, glazing, and then applying it to the book cover. This one here is showing how you can play with just paper and the encaustic and um, create some um, unique designs to put on your covers also. This one here is the same thing. I played with paper and did that little cover. He's so cute. This shows how you can take the panel, put it on a um, book cover, and then put it on your actual journal. And we go step by step how to do that. We also make these little beads that I incorporated in this journal and I think that's a real fun little element to incorporate in your journal making. And what else? <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. Hold on. I got this one here. This one also was put onto an existing journal that I had made. And this is just covered with some paper. But um, this shows how the encaustic really, obviously, really makes this a unique cover. And then the one that we do go step by step from beginning to end is this one, which ended up being actually my favorite. And I intended it um, for myself because I do like peacock feathers as many of you know so this one ended up being pretty cool 
and I like it a lot. And we go step by step also how to make that cover. Anyway, well, excuse me, not the cover, the entire journal. Anyway, so I'm really excited to get this launched off, and I hope that some of you um, are interested enough to get some more information on the subject. You may have worked with waxes or different things like that when you wax papers. Um, this is completely different because we aren't working just with plain beeswax. We're working with encaustic medium, which you know incorporates a resin along with the beeswax. Now, a lot of people don't get involved in um, this medium because when you get everything all together, you know, it starts adding up in price and then you think, wait a minute, you know, I don't even think I like this and you made this big investment. So I've put together a kit that is extremely, extremely affordable so that you can actually make several of these covers and the beads and a few other things you'll have enough to make all of that and you'll be able to have a couple of um of these panels to put on at least two books and a few other things and um and so i'm really happy to be able to um make it affordable for you because if you look on different websites and you get these starter kits to do stuff with encaustic you know they're in the hundreds and so we're not even going close to that so what are you going to get to play with well it's going to come in this priority box and you know me we recycle everything so we're going to be using this box to make uh, one of the journal covers we have some tissue paper that we can also use in our project. You're going to receive this tin that has enough encaustic medium to do all the projects that we're going to be doing together, which will include um, at least two uh, canvas boards to uh, use on your journals and a few other embellishments that I will be showing you how to make. There'll be more than enough to use um, to accomplish those. You're going to have this heat source, which is basically a candle warmer. And it's the exact heat that we need to um, keep your encaustic so that you can use it uh, with all these projects. You're going to include a brush that you're going to be using to do these projects. And then also, let me move some of this out of the way. You're also going to, in it'll also include two um, canvas boards that we're going to be using um, for the project. And then as I was uh, making the journals, I set aside all the different types of components that I used, and those will all be included. Uh, we have feathers, we have um, some leaves, Tim Holtz goodies, a little bit of fabric, some different um, napkins we'll use, different types of ephemera that we'll be using. Um, I included a, a little pattern of something that'll be explained later in case you want to use that. We're going to have uh, some use for some foil, so I've included the foil. Um, all different kinds of little doodads that we're going to be using to accomplish the looks that um, I have showed you. So all of that will be included in the kit and you'll have more than enough to complete, um, you know, like I say, at least those, at least two journal covers and the other, um, the other little embellishments that we're going to be playing around with with this form of um, encaustic medium. 
So this will whet your appetite. You'll find out if you have the feel for it, if you like it, if you want to learn more about it. Um, you'll already know the basics. And from there, if you want to take it to the next step, well, then you'll already know the supplies that you need to get and the kinds of things that you can do with um, this medium. But anyway, I'm very excited. These are, you know, the different looks that we're going to be working with. Literally, we're going to be making all of these covers. So needless to say, there's a lot of instruction that's involved in this course. And so I really, really hope that you can join me and have some fun in learning how to apply this beautiful, beautiful medium of encaustic into your personal journal making. I hope that you come along for the ride and learn how to make these beautiful covers.